Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is part four of the Core Gadget Post Dubstep Production series, in where we're breaking down a garage track that I made using Gadget only. In this episode, we're gonna get into the pad, and I am using Helsinki. But before we dig into this, I just want to show you this picture. You see, Korg visited Sweden and I had the privilege, the honor I should say, to guide these fine gentlemen around. So if you want to hear more about that, then stick to the end and I'll tell you a little bit more. Now if you've missed the previous parts in this series, then you can click this card popping up here in the upper right corner and there you'll find a playlist containing all the episodes I've made so far in this series and I, of course I will continue filling that playlist with videos as I make them. Okay so pads. Now I needed something to glue all of the bits together in the background and I tried to do this with Phoenix first but it had too much of a warm feeling to it but I wanted something colder and Helsinki is just exactly what I needed. So I just put in some longer notes that corresponds to the scale I'm using for this track. And then I simply tweaked a little bit in the synthesizer. Now, what I like a lot about this synthesizer is that it's very limited on controls. So normally when I use Helsinki, I do tend to modulate this synthesizer a lot using the modulation lanes. But as you can see here, I've got nothing modulated. And that's simply because I just like the sound the way it is. So if we go to the insert effect slot, we can see that the only thing I've got here is a delay and a sidechain compressor. And when starting to record this episode, I didn't think I would have that much to say because of this, but I actually do, because I experimented with this a lot. A lot. A lot. Let me solo this one out so you can really hear what the pad sounds like. As you can hear, it's a very simple thing I've made. And so let's have a look at the mixer section and the insert effect slot. Okay, so I've only got a delay and a sidechain compressor. And the sidechain compressor is listening to the first Hasifi gadget right here. It's muted and it's only got a bass drum loaded. So I'm using that to pump the bass and also the pad. Now, when you're listening to the track, you can't hear the pad being pumped. And that's the idea behind it. I don't want to make the pad go all pumpy. And that's why you only really hear that when you're playing it soloed out from everything else. Because the main mission for this pad is to glue everything together. I didn't want the whole track to feel really, really pumped. I've kept that for the bass, so the bass is more pumped than the pad actually is. Okay, so the reason why I put the delay before the sidechain is because when I put the delay after the sidechain, you couldn't really hear the sidechain compression because the delay tail fills out that space and you can hear that the sidechain compression just disappears. So you can actually switch the order of the effects around in the insert effect slot. And the way you do that is by pressing the function button right down here and then just pressing the arrows. So if you wanna move the delay down, just press this one and it goes down. Press the function button again and now we can see that we have the sidechain compressor up here and the delay down there. Listen closely now, I'm gonna play this pad soloed out and you can hear that the sidechain compression just disappears. It sounds like I've got no sidechain compression on there. Oh, it's so dirty. Oh, come on. And that's basically what I've done to make the pad for this project. Now, I'm not quite satisfied. I'm gonna keep on building on this track and I actually think I'm gonna make a, a ghost type 
pad that will follow this one and shadow it, basically, the way I'm doing with the Hesifi gadget drums. Something I explained in part one of this series. So, there you go. Right, these two gentlemen. Let me introduce you to them. To the left here, we have Hironori Hukada. He's the general manager of software and computer gear at Korg. And to the right here, we have Kazuhito Inoue. He is a chief programmer at Korg. And so what happened was I picked them up at the hotel and I took them on a walk through Stockholm and showed them the city. Unluckily, it was raining a lot. It didn't really bother me and it didn't seem to bother them either. We just had a great time talking about music making and of course, I had to treat them to a proper Swedish fika. If you don't know what that is, it's basically when you sit down with uh, with friends and, and, and you have a coffee and a Swedish bulle like this. This is a bulle. Yeah, I love the bulle. Only I, I can't eat those when they're made of wheat because I got this glute. No, never mind. Can you imagine how it was to sit there telling these chaps how much I love Gadget and what it is exactly I do love about Gadget. I mean, if you've been following my channel for a while, you've seen me make loads of videos of Core Gadget. I really know this thing. And so to sit there and be able to, you know, tell them my thoughts and everything was an amazing experience. It's just, uh, I'm so happy I got to meet these two. And I do hope they come back or that I can travel and visit them. So Kazuhito and Hironori, you are absolutely amazing. In the next episode, we're going to have a look at at the last two gadgets in this track containing my um, vocals, basically. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I've also got a uh, Patreon, um, Patreon page. So if you want to support creativity and good content here on YouTube, then I suggest you go sign up on Patreon. I'm the guy that the Audiobus team hired to make the Audiobus 3 launch videos. So at Patreon, I'm making this Patreon exclusive series in where I'm going through all the steps I had to make, all the steps I had to take in able to make those videos because I was trying to make professional looking product videos, product launch videos. And so it's very different from what I do with my regular content here on my channel. So if you join up on Patreon today, you can go watch them. Now, if that isn't your cup of tea, if you don't want to do Patreon, then you can always share my videos, uh, press the thumbs up if you feel that my videos deserve it. And also, yeah, uh, subscribe. Well, if you want to subscribe. And if you subscribe, don't forget to tap on that little bell thing that pops up to the side of, of the subscription button. That way you'll get notified whenever I upload new videos. As usual, I wish you a very productive week now. Go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Please don't